All right, today we're going to start off our new section today, and we're going to be discussing financial statements. All right, the best way to explain what a financial statement is would be to compare it to you guys owning a basketball card or a football card. When you flip the football card over, what do you see? Stats. Stats, right? You see stats. So if you didn't know what a football player was, how would you, how would you use the back of the card? To grade them. Huh? To grade them against other players, right? Because you know what stats are. Well, that's what a financial statement is to a business. All right? Today we're going to discuss specifically a balance sheet. But all three of them, income statements, balance sheets, and credit. Right? So without knowing what the business does, you should be able to look at its financial statements and see if it's successful or if it's not successful. All right? So what we're going to do now, you guys talked about the fundamental accounting equation, which is in relation to a balance sheet. We're going to discuss that again, we'll come back to it. Alright? But the three things that we're going to be covering are going to be income statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements, and you guys have to have the idea going into it that you can evaluate a business by using these statements. Alright? So we're going to start off right now with balance sheets. Alright? So as was covered on your do now, the fundamental accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus equity. And you have here an example of a business's balance sheet. All right? So anything you own, right, as a business or personally, anything you own fits into one of these categories. If you own it and you use it, it's an asset. Right? So for a business, anything that can be used to generate income is an asset. For a pizzeria, the oven is an asset. For a newspaper business, the printer is an asset. All right? For a pizzeria, the car the delivery man uses is an asset. Now, those assets don't all necessarily belong to the business that's using it to generate income. All right? So if you have something, personally or as a business, you either own it or you owe on it. So if you buy something with your credit card, you own the item you purchase, but you owe the credit card company money on it. So you really don't own all of it yet. Same thing with that business. If you own that pizzeria, and you start the pizzeria, generally you're not going to have an upwards of $100,000 to buy an oven. So you're going to borrow one. You're going to buy your own credit. As you pay off that up, the money you owe on that oven, you own more and more of it as you make more and more payments on it. That is what equity is. Equity is ownership. Best, part of, best way to explain it is your house. The house you live in. Right? The house you live in most likely was borrowed. The majority of it was borrowed. If you were able to go in and buy your house in cash, God bless, I would like a loan. Alright? But usually when you purchase a house, you put a down payment down. That down payment is usually a small percentage and you owe, you owe, you owe the rest of it. Every payment you make, you have more equity in your own house. You own more. All right? What you owe is your liability. Okay? So we're going to go through that in detail. So you're seeing here, just to get an example of what's what, cash. Cash in a business is used to make more cash. Right? If you have cash and you own a business, you can use that cash to make more money. So it's an asset. Accounts receivable. Things owed to you. It's an asset. Right? If you have $10,000 in outstanding bills that you're going to collect, that's an asset. All right? Inventory. The, you, you own a sneaker store? All the sneakers you have in the basement that you're ready to sell? That's an asset. It's an item you can use to make money. All right? So you see what I'm talking about here. You're building your equipment. Liabilities. Things you owe out. Okay? So in this case, salaries payable. Right? You owe money to your workers. If you owe it, it's going to be taken off of what you have. It's a liability. Accounts payable. All right. Let's say I borrowed my inventory. I bought it on credit. I still owe money on it. it goes into accounts payable. So it's, a, it's an asset and it's a liability. Right? And equity is what you own. All right. So stock that you own or how much of what your assets are really belong to you. All right, so it should always balance. Okay, so when you put this into Excel later, you're only going to be dealing with addition and subtraction. So 
So the math part of it is not difficult. The math part is not difficult. But it, there's only one right answer. Okay? It can never work out where it doesn't balance. If it doesn't balance, it has nothing to do with the business. It has to do with the person who created the balance sheet because it's incorrect. All right? So, <clears throat> just to define assets. It's own, a personal company. Example would be cash, buildings, or equipment, or anything owed to you. Again, anything that you can use to generate income or that is owed to you is considered an asset. Okay? That oven for the pizzeria. All right? The car for the delivery man. All right? Your house, personally, is an asset. You live in it. It's an asset. All right? A liability is a debt or obligation. Anything you owe out. Your credit card bills. All right? The mortgage you pay on your house. All right? In a business, it's any bill they have is a liability. And then finally, owner's equity. All right? Equity is the amount of ownership an individual or company has in an asset. All right? How much of what you have do you own as opposed to how much you owe out on? All right? So when you put it all together, what you have, I don't have this printer. I don't know if I own it or not, but I have this printer. It's an asset to me. Right? I either own it, that means 100% of this printer is equity. So if this printer is worth $1,000 and I own the whole thing, I have an asset that's $1,000 equals liability, zero, I don't know anything on it, plus equity, $1,000, it balances. Let's say I only own $100 worth of this printer. This printer. Asset is a $1,000 printer still. Liabilities is $900. I owe $900 on this printer. And equity is $100. Again, it balances. All right, so we're going to put up Excel right now, and we're going to talk about building a specific balance sheet.